Oh my god, I knew it. It's really just the hair. You can grow it out. Are you even up there? First of all, I have to say that your acting is remarkable in this film. Thank I really you. enjoy every single moment. Thank you so much. So uh, during the filming for this film, and your EP Haze also came out. Yes. So how did you really balance the acting and singing career? Yeah, wow, that's a great memory there. Um, I, yeah, it was kind of crazy because I, uh, during the auditioning process for this film, I was fine-tuning the EP and picking the songs that were going on it and finishing last-minute recording sessions and, again, perfecting everything. Um, and I had done all of that, gone to make the movie, and in the middle of the movie this came out. Uh, and, yeah, I remember I wrapped the movie and at, like, 5 in the morning, got on a plane, the next day performed the first Jingle Ball of last year, which I'll be doing again this year, which I'm very excited about. So anyway, uh, that was crazy, being out making a film and then having you know my first body of work uh, as, a, as an artist come out. Um, it was interesting, but also, again, amazing, sort of being in the thick of both of them and, and realizing that I could do both and um, having so many people on both ends supporting that. Uh, and again, it was so well received, which I could have never imagined, so I was very thankful for that. But I'm gonna kill myself. I just thought that an adult should know. Wow. I wish I knew what to say. You know, actually, I was writing my own suicide note just now. As some of you know, I have 32 fleeting minutes of happiness during lunch, which has been eaten up again and again by the same especially badly dressed student. And I finally thought I would rather have the dark nothingness. Have a nice life without me, fuckers. So during this film, your, uh, your acting is so struggle. The struggle is so real mm -hmm. with uh, Mr. Woody. So what did you have to prepare for the role? And then uh, what are some fun memories? Luckily, I didn't necessarily have to do much to prepare I just had to be a teenager which I've been and we all have and um, yeah I guess going into this sort of being my weird and quirky self again expressing those situations that I have been in countless times where I felt sort of out of place or uncomfortable or not knowing sort of what to do or how to handle certain situations I was able to pull on those and, and put it into this along with many other things. But um, favorite memories, there are so many for making this film. I really had such an incredible time. And thinking back on certain scenes and certain places that we were shooting, uh, even from the beginning in the auditioning process to finding the wardrobe for this character, all of that um, sticks and stays with me, so. Krista! Oh my god! Oh, what the fuck?! Seriously? My brother? Think about how shitty this is for me. I can't help how I feel. What if I liked your dad? What if I gave your dad a hand job? God. Oh, Louis, why wow, you look so hot with that belt phone. Ew. Oh no, oh, oh, Chris, you're home early. So just imagining this scene, uh, right now I'm your best friend in the film, Krista. I just broke up with your brother. Mm. And how can you use your Nadine tone like to talk to me? Hey, you know, can okay, you show me that? You just broke up with my brother? Yes. I know in, in this film, um, yes, they didn't. I would be celebrating, uh, and I'd probably pick her up and spin her around, and then talk to her about how much I hate my brother. You know, this film is also collaborated with the uh, Chinese media. Mm -hmm. uh, are you planning any trips to China? I would love to come to China very soon. I've never been, uh, and I would love to, to go on behalf of the movie, or a movie, uh, or music, or something. I hope something one of these days brings me out there. Mm -hmm. As a young star, um, what advice would you give out for the young actors? Um, I would say, I mean, work hard, be kind, anything can happen, stay passionate and persistent and be prepared when the time comes. By the way, by the way, you do things to my body. I didn't know that I was starving till I tasted you. You have like 3 million Instagram followers. How does the remarks from your fans really influence the direction of your career? Um, It's amazing to be able to have that connection with them and and see sort of what it is that they respond to and it definitely influences me and inspires me in many ways uh, in terms of the decisions I make um, and I always look forward to sort of seeing once I've made a decision and once I've worked on something that I truly love how they'll respond to it then. I want you to put your mouth on my tits. I want to feel you inside. Mm. God, you can do it in the Petman stock room. Oh my god, say something, please help me!
You need to watch out for run-on sentences.